Want to be an influencer? Don't. I'm Perez Hilton, the original influencer, and I have some news to share with you all. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that last year, according to NeoReach, 48% of creators made $15,000 or less. <laughs> and actually, that's not surprising to me. Only the top, top creators are monetizing in a meaningful way. But if you still want to be a creator, there are some tips and tricks and advice that I will share with you all because I am the original influencer after all. I've been doing this since 2004, and I'm still here. <laughs> First, a few more harsh realities. All of social media, the algorithms favor young, thin, good-looking, and white. If you are not one of those, it's gonna be harder for you. You can do it, but it will be harder, so be aware of that. Also, the days of being mass are over. Niche is the way to go, I think. So find that one thing that you do very well, find a way that you do it differently than everybody else, and just start creating. Don't overthink. All of social media favors quantity over quality. Sometimes it's just luck and timing. Also, controversy helps. But if you're a food creator, you're not necessarily going to be a controversial creator unless you're making rage bait videos. You know, those wild recipes purposely designed to get engagement from people. There are many ways that you can be a creator, but the number one most important thing that you can and need to do is be consistent and be incredibly hardworking. Thanks to social media, you might be able to luck your way into success, but you will not sustain success without an incredible work ethic. And when you're just starting out, it's gonna be easier. But as the months and years go by, it's gonna get harder and harder. You're gonna need to reinvent, tweak, figure out new ways, do all the best practices. It's exhausting. And after all that, if you still wanna do it, great. But don't quit your day job and don't drop out of school. Definitely don't drop out of school. Graduate. And if you are crushing it as an influencer, then you can quit your day job. But don't jump before you walk, okay? What do I mean by that? When the money is rolling in, you might be tempted to have really large eyes and I wanna get a big house or a big fancy car. Don't buy the big fancy car and don't buy the big house. I might get flack for this, but I don't care. I've always spoken my truth without fear of what others think. A lot of really liberal and woke people look down upon being a landlord. Don't be one of those people. Instead of buying a fancy home, buy a duplex or a fourplex. That will force you to slow your roll. And if in a few years after that, two, three, four, you're still crushing it, then you can buy a nice big home and keep that other place that you own as a passive income generating rental property that is yours. And eventually you might be able to buy another one and another one. And then what a dream scenario. Five, 10 years down the road, you have your nice house and two or three or four passive income generating properties. Because even if you're amazing at what you do, and you're hardworking, the shelf life of an influencer keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter. People don't last 20 years like me. So diversify, save, and be smart. And if you need any other advice, tips, or tricks, I'm here for you. Drop a comment and I will answer to the best of my knowledge.